Imagine, if you will, a journey, not just any journey, but a terrible journey through the very fabric of time itself. As if plucked from the realm of science fiction, this isn't your typical trip to the grocery store. This is a perilous voyage, an expedition through the corridors of time where every second is a battle, every minute a war. Our traveler, a lone wanderer, embarks on this quest, not for glory, not for fame, but to navigate the uncharted waters of time itself. The journey is fraught with perils, unseen yet ever-present. Monsters made not of flesh and bone, but of paradoxes and anomalies that threaten to unravel reality itself. The toll it takes on the voyager is immense. The body weakens, the mind falters, but the spirit perseveres. And in this journey, the concept of time becomes fluid, mutable, much like the river that carves its path through the hardest of rocks. A journey through time is not for the faint-hearted. It is a path fraught with danger and uncertainty. As we delve deeper into this journey, let us take a moment to reflect on the past. The echoes of bygone events whisper in our ears, each tale a piece to the puzzle of our terrible journey through time. Centuries ago, a cosmic event of unparalleled magnitude set the stage for our journey. Its reverberations, still felt today, have shaped the course of our temporal odyssey. The ripples of this event, like a stone cast into a still pond, have altered the fabric of time itself. And yet, there are pieces of the puzzle that remain elusive. What triggered this cosmic event? How exactly has it affected the flow of time? These questions left unanswered only serve to deepen the mystery of our journey. The past, as they say, is prologue, but what happens when the past becomes the present, or even the future? Time, as we perceive it, is a linear progression of cause to effect, but what if it's not? What if time is not a straight line, but a swirling vortex, a cosmic soup of events, each influencing the other in a dance too complex for us to comprehend? This is the question that has plagued philosophers and scientists for centuries. Some propose that time is cyclical, ever repeating. Others suggest it might be a multidimensional web where every choice spawns a new timeline. Then there are those who believe time is an illusion, a construct of our limited perception. Each theory is as tantalizing as it is terrifying. For if time is not as we know it, then what does that mean for our journey through it? Are we doomed to repeat our past? Are our choices truly our own? Or are we merely puppets in a cosmic play bound by chains we cannot see? In the end, the journey through time is a journey into the unknown. It is a terrible journey, yes, but also an enlightening one. For it is in the face of the unknown that we truly find ourselves.